If you've ever wanted to create your own nurse trailer, well, the opportunity is on its way. Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look mod showcase of Schultz Modding's new mods. We've got the Seed Runner and the Nurse Tank. Now, today we're actually using the Mac Black Anthem. We're also using, I believe this is one of the trailers, Load King. There you go. With these, this is super neat because you can take these tanks, which I think I've got super strength turned on right now. I do, but it's just a tank and the uh, over for seed runner and you could use these on any low loader to create your own nurse trailer so maybe you don't need the seed tender maybe you just need like two or three of the liquid tanks well you could do that and you could use the seed tender two or three of these as well this is really neat and one of the cool things as well is you can enter these and they even have their own engine startup, but you can't uh, tab to them, which makes it nice if you've got a bunch of vehicles around or something like that. It's... Sounds <laughs> like... I love that. It's so cool. The first mod is the Seed Runner. This will hold 8,000 liters, and that's going to be of all of the crops you can see down the bottom. This is using the Auger Wagon functionality, so whatever mods you have for Auger Wagon will work here. It's 800 kilograms, at least empty. You can change up colors. We've got uh, David's 82 Studios colors right here. So we're going to go with a uh, well, Nitro Blue, of course. And then you could change up some smaller parts at the bottom. That is going to be that. And really, there's not a whole lot to it. They do say with this specific piece right here um, that this seed tender can be used with any flatbed trailer. You'll need to enter the seed tender to be able to load and unload, things like that. For taller cedars and planters, you will want to place it on a taller trailer, maybe something like this. Uh, the upper decks of the Load King and Demco low loaders work great. So they're talking about this spot up here. They also say, warning, when full, they are very heavy and it's best to move them with no product inside. So what you would want to do is take these from your farm or wherever you store them and then take them to the field via your trailer and then load them up from there and then load out from there. That's kind of what they're going with there, but of course, we're going to give it a try fully loaded today. Real quick, I just spoke to Schulz Monning, and he said that as far as moving things around, he said on the forks they're heavy, but once you get the piece of equipment onto the trailer, everything's going to be fine, or else probably defeat the purpose of it itself. So just clear that up when you're moving these around on the uh, like pallet forks, things like that. Be careful, maybe just don't load them up until you get them on the trailer. Second is the nurse tank. Now this one actually has an unreal capacity, which is super cool. This will hold every liquid that you can think of in the game. So you got water, uh, liquid manure, slurry, digestate, fuel, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, and milk. So this will do quite a few of those things. I think he's also said you can use this as kind of like some extension for milk or slurry or something like that. So you could just basically place it down and then carry your trailer away later on, which is kind of neat. Holds 13,250 liters of those things, or you could select the Unreal Capacity, at least in the early first look version, there's an Unreal Capacity of 40,000 liters, which is very cool. And then of course we have all of these colors right here. One of the great things is in the past, we've only had like this blue, that's it. Well, now we could use stainless steel, aluminum, chrome. So these could be metal if you want them to be, or plastic if you want them to be. So he's giving you that option. And we actually showed that one off right here at the beginning. And uh, yeah, there's really not a whole lot to the mod itself, uh, but the functionality, that's... That's where it gets fun. So let's load them up. We've already got the Unverfurth Seed Runner right here. However, uh, probably wouldn't be such a bad idea to put it on the ground and show you exactly what we've had to do. So. I'm using the base New Holland. Get, get off of here. Perfect. As I mentioned before, I was rudely interrupted by the New Holland right here, holding on for dear life. We've got some spots down here at the bottom. These can be used with pallet forks. That's what I would recommend the most. Now, as you saw, we were able to use the telehandler, use front loader, or you could use a skid steer depending on the weight. Uh, you can see that there are only two holes down there, kind of like keyholes, so you have to make sure that you're lined up appropriately with those and then right in it goes perfect you could raise it up a uh, very little weight it's actually you may be able to see the weight transfer on the new holland itself now this may be one of the larger telehandlers that we've got but it's not that bad so let's go ahead and put it on our trailer 
and then we'll back away slowly. This is one of the neat things that I love about this is you're able to create your own nurse trailer. Like I said, if you need a certain setup, well, you can just create your own loadout as it were. Now, as far as this trailer goes, you might be able to see there at the top of the screen, we're gonna need to bring these in just a little bit. I think that should be just fine. And we'll come down and please. <laughs> Can be a little bit tedious, I will say, but tis, uh, tis the whole hashtag realism thing, which I am totally not about that hashtag. Let's go and put it right here. And they've given us a really nice base on this as well. Boop. Guys, if I could do it, you could do it. Don't complain. <laughs> All right, so we're loaded up. We're ready to go. Let's go and put straps down. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And you can see the tank itself will go straps all the way around it. Whereas our seed tender, well, it only runs straps down at the bottom. You would expect that, especially in real life. So now that we've got that, we'll go and turn the help window back on. As you can see, we are not able to select any of these right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter each one and... Uh, well, maybe we should take it for a test drive first. So again, I'm in the base game uh, truck right here with the base game trailers. This weighs 19.4 tons total if you guys are carrying it around. Uh, very easy, very easy to maneuver. Super simple. Take a turn, it's just normal. Let's go ahead and uh, crank a hard UE right here. No issues whatsoever. It's actually really smooth and very nice to drive, shockingly. So let's go ahead and stop it right there and uh, maybe take off my superpowers. Let's jump into the seed tender first. We'll open up our windows right here and we can see we've got some options. So we have pipe out number one, but first we have to start the engine. These kind of have their own generator on, uh, on spot. So there's your pipe coming out towards the side. We've got that there. We've also got a pipe out number two, which is going to be for the second uh, view inside. Now, one thing I will say is the camera is a little bit interesting, so uh, it's only a zoom in and zoom out. You can't actually maneuver around the vehicle. I can look over here, which is interesting, but this, the way it is, that's eh, fine. Let's go ahead and pipe back in, just like so, and let's fill this up. So fill 4,000 liters. We'll just go with, uh, oh, what do you guys think, seeds? That'll work. Seeds at the back, and then we'll go ahead and fill up again. And we'll do maybe like a solid fertilizer. So there's that. And you saw the trailer went down heavily. So there's that. Let's go with this now. <laughs> so we need to start the engine on this as well to be able to do anything. But we can't do anything else, as you can see. So let's go and fill it up. And we probably want to fill it with liquid fertilizer. Oof. She dropped, boys. She dropped. Let's jump back in here. Um, I'll leave the straps kind of the way they were. This still showing that it weighs 19.4 tons. Something tells me if I loosen this, it's going to be a little bit. No, no. Still very normal. Still showing up very normal. Um, <laughs> you guys, I love that they've been able to use some of the, uh, like generator sounds and stuff like that for those pieces in the back. All right, let's take a hard Yui. You know, he did say that it was going to weigh a lot, and it, it does, but it's really not that bad. This is not that bad at all. Actually, very, very nice. Very easy. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. All right, so we got a couple machines here. We've got a John Deere 8R with the Amazon, and we've also got a Fent 700 with a Hardy sprayer. So we want to jump in here, and we want seed and fertilizer. So we're going to need to open this up as it is we'll kind of pull over here to the next of it now they did say for some cedars you will need to have this on a higher part so what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens through here and as you can see yeah this is way way too low so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to come around here i'm going to cut that volume down a little bit <laughs> only slightly anyway we'll do this there we go I'm going to go ahead and talk on my super strength so that I can hopefully move yeah, this entire piece up here. <laughs> this should do exactly what we need. What about right there? Maybe a little bit further in. 
Yeah, that'll do. All right, we'll go ahead and get her strapped back down. Boom, boom, boom. Got him. And then we'll jump back in here. And this should be about the right height level. I may still have gone a little bit too much with it. But no, not too bad at all. So we got seed going in right here. Looking good, looking good. So that seed's going to empty out eventually. One thing I love about this is we've got a couple different hoppers inside. And once those individual hoppers are full, well, it will stop. So there is seed. As you can tell, moving forwards and backwards. The other ones are not going to work. So let's go ahead and toggle that super strength in. And we want to enter here and go into fertilizer. Solid fertilizer it is. Maybe. <laughs> uh, this, uh, not, not, there we go. There we go. All right. So we've got solid fertilizer going in. Sometimes it takes it just a second. That's the cedar, unfortunately. So now solid fertilizer's going in. It's filling up. And we've now filled up with seed and fertilizer via the side of the field. Now the next one's going to be right here for our liquid fertilizer. So I don't think we really need to do anything. We've got to load and unload. So we'll come right here. Wait until we get the trigger to load up. Let's see here. Unfold, turn it on, change of working with. Hmm, not filling up. Oh, well, let's enter here and let's see what we've got. You can see it says start overloading, and that's exactly what we need to do. So you will need to be in the liquid tank itself to do the unloading. You can't just trigger it up from another piece of equipment. But as you can see right there, we have now loaded up and we are good. It also gives us the option to start overloading. So we'll do that. And I'm not really sure if it's doing it or not. I think it's going back and forth. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Stop overloading. So now we're actually loading from the tank, which is a base game piece of equipment, uh, into the new tank that we've got right here. So we're overloading from one to the other. That's kind of cool, man. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, that is everything that you need to know about at least early on about the nurse trailer and seed tender from Schultz Modding. I do want to say thank you to Schultz for sending this over to show you guys a little bit of an early preview for you. I do love doing these. They're a whole lot of fun. This is going to allow you to do kind of however you want. You can make your own nurse trailer for liquid fertilizer, herbicide seeds, whatever you could really think of you can do it. And I think that's just awesome. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. And if you want to watch other videos, check out the orange logo at the bottom middle of your screen right now. Ooh, something behind that. All right, we'll see you guys later. Peace.